kutoka Kayole unieleze kidogo kuhusiana na Kayole alafu mm. turudi kwa hapa ulipo sasa hivi yeah. sasa huduma imefikia wapi Okay um, mimi nilianza nilipokoka some, some things happened lakini nilijua Mungu akanambia I'm trying to test your faith kwa sababu nataka nijue where are you standing on mm. understand because you have a lot of money ama ni kwa ajili yangu mimi mm-hmm. yani you will just love me regardless i had a lot of money nimeweka kwenye three accounts mm. do you know ilipotea pesa zangu zilipotea hivi pesa i don't, don't know. know just like that it disappeared nili follow up hadi nikachoka for three months paka nikawa sina sina nguvu andika barua oh tuju kimefanyika nini hakuna hata withdraw mm. there is nothing there is no list ya kuonesha pesa zimeenda wapi so by that time siku 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 na income yoyote god told me to leave everything kwa nimenunua vyombo vipya over 6 million nimetumia kununua vyombo mm. na mambo mengi nilikuwa nakuja kufanya Kenya kila kitu Mungu akasema acha nifuate wow. it was not easy for me mm. nilipigana pigana kufuatilia vyombo nini nini kwa sababu ilikuwa kama hat nimeweka eh nime trust them so Mungu akanambia kila kila kitu nifuate so nikawa sasa hiyo time nikawa pesa zinapotea nikawa sina pesa inakuja ina, ina nikajikuta nimeishi kayole place ambayo hata wazazi wangu wakuja kunitembelea because ile place nilikuwa nenda kuishi ilikuwa usiku watu wana nyongwa sio mkiamka oh. mnapata maiti mtu amesha mm. kuwa mag mm. wanasema saa nne don't be outside so kichelewa uko nje wakati ulikuwa bado single ni kwa single so it was very yani for me ilikuwa ni aibu kwangu nilikuwa na feel aibu ile nikitembea tu eh, watu ya watu wananijua sometimes na na, na na smart sana mtu niseme tu nimekuja kutembea but siku moja niligongwa na baisikeli nilikuwa nimebeba nyanya nyanya nilikuwa na ukinipa 20 bob nitakushop nitafanyia shopping kayole kwa sababu kuna sukari ya, ya tubo kijiko yeah tu unakwenda na brush yako na kufinyua toothpaste na tubo yeah Ehe, na nyanya za five chapati za five ona kitunguu ya shilingi shilingi 20 bob ilikuwa naweza kushop unapeleka brush hivi wa watili wa dawa, dawa. unapea shilingi gani eh, shilingi mbili watili wa dawa wow wendo na brush so to me your, your life nika nilizoea ni from muda muda tu kidogo mm. tu kama 2 months kama 3 months lakini mm. ilikuwa very hard for me because nilipogonga na basically everything just went everywhere mm. na watu wakani princess farida hey what are you doing here unafanya nini huku kuna unashindwa huku kama ya naishinge huko. Wao karibu. You know, ile ndio ile nakubali tu na maibu aibu. Actress. Hebu jaribu hiyo pia ministry yako ipeleke kwa kwa act. So, nika nikakota nyanya zangu akanisaidia, nilikuwa nikasema wanaweza kumpiga yule kama mwacheni mwacheni tu kwa sababu I knew what what was happening because nilikuwa naishi life ya ku pretend na Mungu ananijaribu kuni humble. So what whatever that whatever happened mimi nika sasa from that time nikaanza kuwa serious na mambo ya nikasema Mungu nisamehe I want to yeah. walk this journey ili nataka nataka kuwa kiroho ili ni sana ili faith kwanza mm. imani ile kuishi kwa imani mm. ah mimi mwalimu wake naweza kukufundisha kuishi kwa imani sasa hivi tunazungumza na mtu ambaye ame alikuwa superstar mm kaja mpaka kayole mm. na amerudi tena sasa hivi alikuwa Marekani alikuwa yeah. katika vyombo vya habari imekwaje tu yako Mombasaani huwa naambia hivi watu Mombasaani Marekani Marekani huwa naambia hivi mtu wewe ushuhuda wako ulionao kidogo usiudharau mm. mimi nani angesema kwa sababu ya ushuhuda sio kwa ajili ya mimi ni princess farida they, they didn't even know me hawakujua mimi nilipokea tu simu kwenye nani kwenye mtandao mm. that we inviting you to come to the US sisi ni CBN mwanzo nikafikiri ni hoax yani ni uongo lakini kweli kawapa namba yangu wakanipigia ni sisi watu wa CBN tunakuita tumeona wapi nini uh, testimony yako wow wakalipia kila kitu ni kwa nikaenda paka embassy wakanyima visa na walikuwa wametayarisha everything mm. nilipo waliponyima mimi nikamwambia nimenyima visa wasema ah we are showing them Wow. Yeah. Nakwambia the following day nilikuwa na visa yangu ya Marekani. Nikaenda nikatembea for two months. Nikaenda nikafanya interviews pale CBN studios zao. Mm. I was the first one. First African. 
kuingia pale wananiambia hivyo kwa sababu they don't they, wao ndio huja oh. so kuna time walikuja Kenya one time walikuja kitambo tu mm. wakaja waka walipokuwa wanatembea wakaona mtu anasoma gazeti gazeti la standard akaangalia wakasema yule msana alikuwa baptized ni nani kwa nini is a big deal Mungu akamwambia whatever I brought you for this hata ukitazama hiyo mm. clip ya nani wale mm. wa nani CBN wao nasema God diverted whatever we came to do in Kenya mm. for this kasema follow her so they call me from Muruma redeemed from my bishop Kitonga mm. that's what called me from Makanembia we want to interview you so ndo wakani interview so kunialika mm. embassy wakasema wewe ni fake mbona hii barua umeipata wapi wewe mbona kampani kubwa sana mbona wasije wao so oh. yani i was just humbled wow. nikaenda nikafanya interviews mpaka in french okay see tena unaongea no, french eh hapa na sana ndio ni msibu tu hello so wakana wakana nani waka interview na kiarabu nini nini so that's known show all over the world wow yeah. angalia kile mwenyezi Mungu anaweza kufanya kwa ajili tu ya testimony yeah, na ndio mtu anapitia pale nyumbani na anasemi testimony yeah. yake anaisikia kusema aibu anasikia aibu watu wengine wanakutangana nao wananiambia wewe farao unaweza kujaribisha hivyo unasema sema uli, ulikuwa naishi kayole na 20 bob sijui naishi una hata mafuta ya nywele una hata sijui mambo wanaona ufai kusema hivyo ya madem wajua sasa during mm. mwezi eh mm. una hata mm. pad yote mm. Yaani life nimeishi yeye naweza kumfundisha mtu. Yeah. Na yote si kwa sababu Mungu hanipendi, alikuwa yeah. ananifundisha. Yeah. Na hiyo hiyo time uvumilivu ile kuvumilia ndio watu patience. Watu hawana. Yeah. Pale ndio watu wana mm. wana backslide. Na umeenda mpaka hata vitabu umeweza kuviandika? Ah, mimi siku hizi naandika ga vitabu, ni kolevo nyingine hapo. Mimi ni author. Nimeandika vitabu viwili. Mm. Priceless gems every girl should have. Ivi iki ni mentorship ya wasichana mm -hmm. kwa sababu Irana Foundation inaitwa Princess Faida Foundation. Sasa hivi mimi ni show show wa watoto 35 ambao tube save from abortion. Wow. Huo ni Yesu. Wanakuja kwangu wanambia mama mama wakinona okay, tu kwenye internet kama hivi. Mbona wakafanya hiyo foundation ya abortion? Sasa mimi nilikuwa tuna ili kutoa ushuhuda kama hivi tu. Wasiona wananifuata. Simu. Wananipigia. Niko na mimba boyfriend yangu amenipatia pesa nataka nitoe. Na mbona usitoe? Eh, hey, usitoe hiyo pesa tuweke ya ya nani ya matanet hivyo mm -hmm. tu kama mchezo mm -hmm. kumbe ilikuja ikawa kama ministry oh my oh watoto wana grow the same thing ha wana grow tu watoto katika wewe kukua kwako hujawahi jihusisha na abortion yeye mm -mm. nilikuwa mm -mm. mara ya kwanza mambo haya yana yana exactly na pia wale wa mm, drugs wanakuja kwangu prostitutes kwa street tumewatoa wengi tu wow wanakuja na mambo aja ofisini kwenye counseling wananiletea mambo ajabu yani mm. nasema tu Yesu wa ukoo kwa mke wa mchungaji nadhani mambo haya hiki ni kitabu cha kwanza the new me ushuhuda wangu wote tuonyeshe anga mm. ikaweza kuonekana vizuri huko ndani kuna picha ambazo mm. pia mpaka za kitambo nilikuwa ni kidance kwenye night club huko mm. ndani mpaka harusi yangu hivi mimi huyo wow bendi yangu Oh, bendi kabisa hey, kwa bendi ilikuwa hapo. Ndio nikaanza kuhubiri hapa ni madhara. Kacha niliisha. Muislamu ni graduate bishop ndio huyo babangu wa kiroho. Hapa ni klabu. Hizi picha ulizipata kabisa? Hey. Huko na zihifadhi ya? Eh? Zihifadhi. Wow. Mm. Kuonyesha yani Yesu amenitoa wapi? Naam. Mm. Na sasa hivi namaliza kitabu ambacho ni The Power of the Tongue. Kwa sababu ni Kitabu cha tatu sasa. Zapatikana wapi vitabu? Hivi vitabu unaweza tu kunaandikia kwenye nani zangu Twitter handle ama mm. Facebook mm. Real Princess Farida Real Princess Farida, real Farida. Ebu nikulize mm. chakacha mtu akikatika chakacha mm. huwa kuna message fulani anapitisha na mwili wake anavojiachilia yeah. na kujinengua ama huwa ni, ni kucheza tu Ah si kucheza ile dance ni dance ya, ya yani ni, ni kusudi la ku make men fall for you kwa sababu many times wanaume walikuwa kuja uko vipi kwa kitanda uko vipi oh. unaelewa kwa sababu the type of dance ni kwa mpaka queen si umeona hapa ni kwenye kitabu mm. nimekuwa labeled nimekuwa nili win competition ya queen of chakacha i was the queen na nika defend crown yangu ndindoi mm ulikuwa ni nguo kiuno proper eh, hakuna alikuwa ananishinda east africa mm. wow sasa ile dance ni ya, ni seductive 
Lakini sasa hivi unaruhusiwa katika na mchungaji. Na eh hata hata nataka kufundisha wale ambao na, wako tick, yani wanaenda kuolewa. Mm. Nataka nianze shule niwafundishe. Niwafunza chakacho. Eh. Kwa sababu ita, ina keep ndoa. Habari ndio hiyo. Mm. <laughs> Wajua kile Mungu alikusudia, shetani anakichukua na ki no. Kama tu nyimbo, God alimbless na sauti. Yeah. Akani, akai turn around, akaipeleka kwenye kwenye klabu. Lakini sasa hivi namwambia Yesu. Magwala. Migwala. Migwala. Yes. Ananufaika sana na chakacha. Sana sana. Bwana apewe sifa.